Marks and Spencers have a very popular sweet. One of the most popular sweets they do, right? Called Percy Pig. Oh, yeah. All right? <laughs> Percy Pig. <laughs> Percy, in case you, you don't realise, Percy is a pig. He's a pig. Yeah. Right? He's a pig called Percy. Now, here's a shock for people. Pigs are made of meat, right? These a aren't pig, made of meat, are they? A pig is made of meat. So Percy Doesn't represents like a pig that's made of meat, OK? But, oh, no, oh, no, the vegans have come. The vegans have come for Percy. They haven't tried to get Percy the pig banned... As someone eating... who doesn't eat meat, because can I eat Percy? You because we're eating... ingredients. Because we're eating pigs all day, right? Um, you... It's not about eating the pig. That's not the problem. Oh, no, no, no. It's the fact that they had tiny little bits of gelatine in, right? <laughs> not tiny little bits. I think they're made out of yeah. gelatin. Right, which, which apparently... And what's gelatine made of? Pigs. Pork right? fat. It's made from pigs. Pork fat, right? So guess what? Something that's got a pig face on it actually has a bit of pig in it. Wow. Amazing, right? <laughs> no, are Amazing. you going to tell me that Freddo's... Amazing. But Chocolate no, the vegetarians, are made of the vegetarians and the vegans. <laughs> that makes no sense. Oh no, we oh, can't have that. Goodness. We can't have that. So now, now M and S have got are rid of all the gelatine. Jelly snakes that you buy right? at the sweet shop made right? of snakes. M and S have now got rid of it's all the gelatine. There's, so there's no trace of pig in the pig sweets, right? And now they taste, as as fans have said, like washing up liquid. So they've completely destroyed. Percy Pigs, right? Just to cater for a few vegans who who, on, who don't realise that it's a pig. It's no. called Percy oh, the Pig. Oh, Piers, don't be obtuse. It's just called because they, just Percy because the Pig. They are shaped like pigs. Well, get your own damn sweets. <laughs> Seriously. Vegans, of... vegetarians, go and get your own sweets, right? Seriously, go and get sweets that aren't called Percy Pig. Right, go and get ones called Kale... Nices, right? <laughs> kale nices, right? Which tastes disgusting, yeah. but you can all feel happy because they're made of kale, right? Leave our pig sweets alone, you people. Have you ever eaten a Percy pig? No, but I'm no, about so... to eat them all the time, the old-fashioned gelatine ones, right? Those are actually the veggie ones, I should yeah. just point veggie out. Veggie Percy. You put that in your veggie Percy. Imagine, imagine calling something that's pig-faced Veggie Percy. You think they're a... Got, you think there are pigs that are made also. of no meat? Little green ears. It's Utterly got, ridiculous. Maybe they're kale ears. It's as got well. the world. <laughs> the world's gone nuts. Okay, and now you know the old joke it's about got well, kale you know, coloured ears. The old joke about you know what? Ice cream vans will be next. Guess what? No. Ice cream vans are next. Ice cream vans are going to be banned from many streets in the country oh. in a crackdown by health and safety killjoys. Right. Uh, it's terrible. Apparently, some of them are powered by diesel, which have to power the fridges and machinery, and you can't have diesel. So, ice cream vans. Mr Whippy. Oh, don't. It's Mr over. Whippy, the screwball. It's ball. over. What it's happened over. Next? They have to go to... It does us in the tin. A bit like Percy Pig. Actually, I'm not sure that's made. I, no. I don't think it's made out of ice <laughs> and cream, I think sometimes Mr. don't Whippy. look too closely as what? to what goes into these things. <laughs> Honestly. Greg's lady has apparently oh, turned up. Here we are. <laughs> Here are the Greg's vegan <laughs> sausage rolls, even though they're not made of sausage. <laughs> uh, they're made of fake, <laughs> fake sausage. <laughs> it's gastronomic appropriation. Oh, we've oh. bumped into the Morgan's meat stand. The <laughs> vegan sausage rolls have hit Morgan's meat parlour. <laughs> there we are. Nearly a bit of a bust. Let me try one of these things, right? These, I mean, they look... Are these the, what are these, the sausages or the vegan ones? What these are, are the vegan ones. Yeah. Vegan ones? So you yeah. can barely tell the difference. I can tell. I mean, they, they stink, right, no, for one. they're delicious. Right? They're delicious, actually. Because they've got the same seasoning. Ooh, God. I like them. They've got nice crisp oh. pastry. Yeah. The vegetarian sausage is nicely flavoured. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good look, Piers. Oh, my God. I would eat Why that. Why would anyone eat mm. this? Because it's really tasty. It's yeah. Because nice. everyone goes to Greg's to be healthy, right? Seriously. And by the way, while we're at it, we got vegan Happy Meals at McDonald's because everyone goes to McDonald's to be healthy, don't they? Right? Mm. Rather than go there, have a Big Mac and stuff your face with large fries. And now we've got oh, good old pizzas. Right? They're all Pizza Hut's gone vegan too because we all go to get a pizza to lose weight and be healthy. What are the... This is complete gastronomic appropriation. Right. You don't believe in harming other human beings? I don't believe in harming other human beings or animals, no. So, in, in September 2011, you were arrested when police found a loaded, sawn-off pump-action... Oh, a rifle. character attack. 
No, a Has fact. this got anything to do a with fact. the topic at hand? Well, you what? Okay. It's a, a character attack oh. it's called a on fact. my part. It's called a fact. Okay. Were you found with a pump action rifle down your trousers? Would this be relevant if I was speaking up against dog abuse or child abuse? I'm asking you a question. Is that true? It's true. I was uh, incarcerated for something I did in my Police past. Police found 29 bullets, right, as well, and a, uh, a flick knife. This right? is no way to have a debate on Here, dairy. Please, everyone I'm... makes mistakes. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This is a character attack. I'm simply asking a question. Okay. You didn't expect to be defending him, did you, your intention with the bullets and the rifle and the flick knife to cause harm to human beings? Okay, let me answer that. I yes used to no? consume animal products three times a day as well, so I was harming animals and humans, right. okay? But I changed my life around and now I'm vegan. Now, just because I did something wrong in the past doesn't mean I can't do something right now. How does that justify your abuse of dairy cows so you can have milk in your coffee? It seems to me you were a pretty violent guy. I right? used to be. Yeah. And, a okay. pretty and you can't turn your life around and do something good for exactly. animals? Exactly. Everyone is entitled. Peers, leave them alone. No, 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 let him go, let him go. <laughs> I want to see. You are, you I are see. entitled to it. And again, I come back to this. What, what have I done I realise that veganism is not my thing, but I realise it's a growing thing. It is. My it's problem, not your thing? My problem is this kind of vegan definitely not terrorism that goes on. He's against animal where cruelty, so Everyone that drinks thing. milk, according to you, is a murderer. No, not consciously. They don't know. But now you know what happens to animals in slaughterhouses so you can have milk in your coffee. And what are you going to do about it? A lot of cows that get milk don't go to slaughterhouses. Yes, they do. No, they don't. You don't know nothing about the industry, my mm. friend. Do your parents eat meat? I don't know if, you've all, if your parents are also alive. I'm sorry for, you know, I'm assuming they are. Let's do your parents all... Hang on. Out. Let me ask a question. Do your parents all eat meat? I think it's not important. Yes or no? Uh, I think that what we need yes to be focusing no. on is Even the animal rights. if you say yes, right. it's fine. If no, yeah, it's you keep out of it. Do your parents all eat meat? Uh... Uh, my, my mother doesn't. The changes are happening. Your parents eat meat? More and more and more my people are waking out. No. Uh, do any of your parents eat meat? No. It certainly... What, what do any of your parents eat meat? About is that no. there's, a point to the point, there's a point to the question. None of your family eats meat at all. Yeah. Do you, do yeah, you no, do, my point being, do you have my, to share the my views point with being, your family members? My point members being, if your family members eat meat, why are you not stampeding into their rooms when they're eating their Christmas turkey and protesting at your own families? Well, why most vegans be? do have well, those conversations with them. They must have already every, fought that battle and lost. Day. So over so, Christmas lunch, you'll all be standing there with your placards in your own back homes, will you? No, uh, no most vegans have conversations with their families and with their friends. Every single day, vegans are talking about what's happening to these animals because what they're facing is a total injustice. And the protest that we're doing. These are non-violent protests. But they're yeah, annoying they, protests. They, I don't they, want to go they, to the supermarket. They might, they might Have be you annoying. lot howling at me yeah, about veganism? They might be annoying, but what they're doing is exposing the truth. And this is a, what, what happens in the jungle? What in the jungle, animals, animals eat other animals yes, to stay alive, right? We're we're not not well, actually, <laughs> we're doing the same no. thing as animals do in a jungle. We are eating no. to survive, no, no, right? You're not comparing doing people to animals. That means you can almost compare everything. We are animals. Okay, so what? Ducks rape other ducks. So are you suggesting that's what we should do as well? Not at all. So you can't compare animals behaviour, every single aspect of we animal behaviour. In the jungle, well, animals eat other animals to survive, right? Yes, Human beings eat survive. other animals to survive. This, this is not about our survival, because we can survive on a vegan diet, which is evidenced by farming. all of us. This is... Well, this, what's ha these animals are survive, facing on all levels to, well, yeah, is but, an injustice. Right, they're, being they're being oppressed, they're being slaughtered, when you say they're you having their bodies abused and cut up, and that is an unnecessary thing. And we have a moral responsibility I get it, but your morality doesn't... think about these animals and do what we can to reduce suffering. I get it, and I admire the passion, but my point to you is your your fury about all this does not extend morally to the little animals that get killed in the production of the bread you love to eat. So my argument is you're hypocrites. You don't drink milk, you don't eat bread, you don't eat any meat, presumably. Right? No, not... I don't. No. Right. So I mean, I am left with the obvious question: what what do you digest? What do you take in? I mean, are we going to remove all oh, pleasurable me? Bread Mi and milk. He can't eat anything. Well, no dairy, no bread, All no fruits meat. All and vegetables you're left, impulsive. You're left with what? I suggest. Plants. There are, there, there are plenty of very tasty alternatives that I'm beginning to discover. I mean, this yeah. is a new process not, for me. But you know what? But how many, how many of those... How many of those taste taste going vegan doesn't mean going choice. without let's take, flavour. Let's take, it let's take, doesn't let's mean going right. without quality. All right, but Chris, let's take the, let's take the tasty alternative of the year so far, the Greg's vegan sausage roll. Palm oil, which is, of course, stashed all over loads of vegan products. So, again, I come back to the hypocrisy, which is, if you're going to eat loads of stuff like that and claim the moral ground, it's nonsense, isn't it? 
Well, palm oil is something that gives us grave concern, and you're absolutely right. Many of the things that I have switched to, I've looked on the back of that packet when I can struggle you know, to understand the food labelling that's there, and I've seen a <laughs> lot of palm oil. And this is a process of change that we're going through. But the one thing we have to be absolutely clear about, Piers, is that you know, we have to cut down on our meat eating, not you know, through any personal choice, but through the enormous cost and pressure that this is putting on the environment. That our population cannot eat the volume of meat that it's doing now. We've got expanding populations in India and China who are equally eating a lot more meat than they have done in the past. We're losing vast areas of the world's forests, which are, you know, repositories of our biodiversity. All of those little things, all of the okay. life that you okay. and I you know, <laughs> love so right. much, simply to produce you know, vegetable protein yeah. to feed to animals in an inefficient way. Let's bring, let's bring in Richard again. Hang on, hang on. If Richard. you were going to invest in a future business, yeah. Piers, would yeah. you invest in McDonald's or Greg's at this point? Because Greg's are thinking about the future, McDonald's probably are not. Well, actually, vegan, uh, uh, McDonald's are doing vegan Happy Meals, so they're all at the same game, and they're doing it to make money, even if the products they're producing under the vegan label, as in the vegan sausage roll, are actually less healthy for you than a, than a McDonald's cheeseburger. Okay. Well, you were a committed vegan, weren't you, from uh, a young age, and then 15 years? Why do you put... Yes. You put a yes. whole list of problems down to veganism. Gallstones, pancreatitis, you went hypoglycemic, you had ulcerative colitis. Um, were you not just looking after yourself? Oh, no, I was... Uh, I always took very good care of myself. I was an athlete, I was a runner, distance runner, and I ran marathons during that time. Mm. Um, I ate a very good, clean vegan diet. I didn't eat any kind of junk food or processed food or sugar. Um, you know, people will say there's a right way and a wrong way to do the vegan diet, and the right way being eating all whole foods and uh, sprouting your grains and seeds and nuts, and I did all of that. So I was a... a I would say uh, took very, very good care of myself. In so why my do you hold the diet? Well. Okay, so why do you hold the diet responsible for all of these illnesses? Well, when I learned um, about the uh, carnivorous diet and read about it for a while before I actually tried it, one of the things that struck me was how much information is coming out about the damaging components in many plants and vegetables. Uh, like lectins and phytonutrients, anti-nutrients, um, oxalates that are in spinach and other greens. So uh, I didn't learn about that until after, but once I took all of the plant material out of my diet, all of my gut health problems went away, including the ulcerative colitis. And now you only eat meat, is that right? Uh, meat, fish, eggs, yes. But no, no vegetables or, or green stuff of any kind? Correct. No and how, plant and how do you, at all. And how do you feel on that diet? I actually feel great, better than I ever have um, in my life. Are you I getting any vitamin C? Vitamin C I get in liver. Right, chopped liver, like Hannibal Lecter. I like it. Uh, let's go <laughs> yeah. to... Uh... I'm not wholly opposed to bird feeding, and I think as a supplement to their natural diet, it's a good thing, but it's much better to have an environment, a habitat in your garden full of plants and maybe a pond and maybe some wild areas. And if you've got the space, then the habitat is yeah, much more important wrong with than feeding what's, the bird. OK, fine, but what's wrong with bird feeders and bird baths? What's wrong with them? Well, you can have associated issues with them, so you need to think really hard about the cleanliness of them and the quality of your food, because otherwise, if you've got food dropping off your bird feeder, that might attract rats, and nobody wants rats in their garden. Hey, you're not really making a very strong case here. I mean, I, I gave you the chance. I'll do not another time. What is really wrong with them? Why do you want to ban them? I don't want to ban them. You don't? No. OK. So you just think we should pursue mild alternatives, like... Planting berries. You would rather them. that people have their have gardens that sustain the birds naturally. I have got an idea about vegan gardening, and that is a growing idea, just as, as the idea of vegan food is a growing idea. And you know, I've written a book about vegan gardening, super organic gardener. And it's just as people are, uh, move from being a vegetarian to being a vegan. 
people are moving from being an organic gardener to a super organic okay. gardener. So they've been really careful and thinking really hard about wildlife. Fair enough. David, but, but, what do you make of all of this? Uh, well, it's very interesting. If you're green-fingered enough and capable enough to generate enough wild habitat in your garden so you wouldn't need to uh, uh, provide additional food with feeders, then that's great. But we're not all capable of doing it. I'm certainly not. Hence, I have a mixture of feeders, which I maintain carefully. And also, um, you know, the feeders provide additional food for these tired migrants that are moving through people's gardens. And when they're breeding and feeding uh, their young, it's additional resource so they don't take away the natural resource, which is a limited supply in most urban areas. But I'm also a vegetarian. I know that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. And <laughs> now, now because of Piers, I'm going to become a vegan <laughs> to, just to annoy you. Well, <laughs> you know what? You like call a bloke a legend yeah. and that's how he responds. No, but my point about vegans is I don't <laughs> mind people being vegan. I, don't, I do mind if they start preaching. Well, I don't preach it. All day long. Make your own choice. Yeah, absolutely. Don't storm into my restaurant and start playing me cow music. You haven't got a restaurant to storm um, into. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I quite, I quite agree. I quite agree. I don't preach it. I've been yeah. a vegetarian all my life.